Hi guys, welcome to Off the Tenth. My name is Chris, and today we're gonna take a look at a beer again from Blackburn Brew House. I did finally go out and grab their back alley black lager. I'm pretty excited to try this one. You know why I'm excited to try this one? It's because I don't like black lagers. I really don't. They're not my uh, my cup of tea. So I'm excited to try this one. Um, when I picked this, picked this up a couple days ago, went in there, I was like, oh yeah, I really should pick this black lager up. I'm not a big fan of black lagers, but we're going to see this one anyway. We're going to review it anyway. So this one is coming in at 5% alcohol by volume. It's in a 473 milliliter can and it's 20 IBUs. Uh, black lagers, traditional dark beers, um, should have some hints of, uh, of some coffee and then maybe hints of chocolate scent and taste to this one. We'll see. Um, when it comes to coffees and chocolate and stuff like that, I would prefer um, a stout or a porter. I mean, a black lager is pretty much a combo between the both of them. But whatever. Uh, anyway, this uh, cart, uh, cart, this can artwork is not bad. It's just straight up purple black. I like it. It's kind of neat. Anyway, let's get into this one. Yeah, it matches my shirt. I just realized. Uh, I pulled this beer out of my fridge, ah, I say about 15 minutes ago. So we're going to pour it into the non-Blackburn glass. It is in my dishwasher right now because I'm lazy and it's been sitting in there for a while. So let's see what we got here. All right, she's a dark beer. She is dark. Uh, you can, it's almost black. I can see a little bit of light through there on camera. It's going to come off pitch black, but it's not. It's a really, 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 really dark brown uh, head on this one. Pour it off with about a finger of an off-white head on this. Come on. There we go. There it is. Mmm. Ah, nice bubbles on this one. Looks pretty dope. This would probably be awesome in the physics, but we'll do that one day. I'll probably take a bunch of these guys' beers and throw it in the physics machine and see what it looks like when it's nitroed. But anyway... Let's take a look at this one. I just did. Let's take a smell. Okay. On the nose, I'm picking up, picking up a little bit of a milk chocolate kind of a scent to it. Um, and I'm picking up that lager, that, ge that generic lager scent to it, that maltiness, a uh, little bit of a sweetness on it. Yeah. I'm not picking up any kind of a coffee note or anything like that, but I am picking up a bit of a milk chocolate kind of, uh, you know, not a dark chocolate, like a milk chocolate. You know what I'm saying? But uh, anyway, the head's gone. Let's try this one. Cheers, guys. Okay. Right off the hop, I'm going to say it's one of the better black lagers I think I've had recently. Um, it's not up there with, with uh, the Cayman Kettles um, black lager. They're, um, I want to say, what's it called? Oh my God, is it called Schwartz beer, I think? I don't know. Somebody in the comments helped me out. I can't remember Cayman Kettle's Black Lager. I don't remember what it's called, if it's called anything other than Black Lager, now that I think about it. Um, but this is good. Talk about the mouthfeel on this one. For a Black Lager, it's actually got a pretty good mouthfeel on it. It's, it's in the, you know, mid to getting up into the higher level of medium body on this one it's not super thin it's pretty good um and yeah for when did i say the percentage on this one was five percent it's drinking pretty big for a five percent beer um yeah speaking of five percent yeah it's crushable for sure on the taste the lager is coming through very crisp kind of lager taste on a little bit of caramel note on there as well as we're getting into that chocolate note very oh so subtly on this one it's super easy to drink this isn't um knocking me off my feet or knocking my socks off or whatever you want to say it's okay it's good but again black lagers are not my cup of tea so you know what if you guys out there like black lagers you're probably going to dig this one it's super refreshing super easy to drink it's super crisp um the effervescence is is actually holding up pretty well on this one i was quite surprised even though the head's gone but a little bit of a spritziness to this one yeah definitely drinkable i mean I, I wouldn't turn this one down if somebody passed me one of these things at a party or whatever i would totally drink this but i'm going over to blackburn not the first beer i'm picking up but you know what 
hey, it's their staple beer. It's one of their staple beers. Go out there, try these guys out. These guys are fantastic. This beer is all right in my books. Like I said, not really my thing, but I enjoy it anyway. Um, guys, I'm done with my own opinion on this one. And in my own opinion, get out there, try out the black, uh, the back alley black lager. You know what? Some of you guys might like this. Some of you guys won't. But you know what? It is what it is. Anyway, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. Like the video. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bye-bye.